Welcome to Deep Thought. Feed your spirit. Feed it. It got to have a good meal. Now, I've, the last couple of days I talked about, uh, you know, managing your attention and, you know, not dwelling on negativity. And all of that, all of that stuff, everything that's happened, you know, things you pay attention to, things you dwell on, the negativity or positivity, all of that affects your mindset. And your mindset is ultimately your spirit. You know, that's food for your spirit. That is actually food for your spirit. And it's going to affect it either negatively or positively. And when I say food, is you're ingesting it. You're taking it in. And it's just like the physical food we eat. If you eat a bunch of junk food, if you're always eating junk food and stuff with too much sugar in it, which sugar is actually a drug, but that's another conversation, oh, well, you're going to be affected. You're going to be affected, probably negative. Negatively, many people are putting on weight. Like uh, right now, the American society is more obese than it was 20 years ago. But there's a lot of junk food, a lot of genetically modified food. We, we're physically feeding ourselves some bad stuff. But then that's just on a physical, that's just for your body. Your spirit is just as important. That's intangible. And you can't feed your spirit uh, food. Like, at least not the physical food. Yeah, you know, those buffalo wings, that might affect you mentally. It sure as heck affects me mentally. I love them. Okay? But that doesn't feed my spirit. What's feed your spirit? The information you, you take in, the things you pay attention to, you know, whether positive or negative, the news is feeding your spirit. You know, when you read a good book that enlightens you, that educates you and tells you something, makes you see a world in a different thing. It makes you more intelligent, gives you more information, gives you knowledge that you can apply in a positive way. That's feeding your spirit because it's a mental thing. And see, our spirit, our spirit eats more than our stomachs, our mouths, because we are constantly bombarded with information, with knowledge, with perspective, and that's feeding the spirit. But the thing is, you got to be, you have to be cognizant of this food that's coming into your spirit. Now, I talked about knowledge, but you know what also feeds your spirit? And something very important, a good play. <laughs> a good play, a good TV series. You know, you ever see a movie or something and it had just some good themes. It just felt good and you felt good after watching it, you know. It had some uh, stuff like that, and you you know what, you you walked away from it like, yeah. In fact, that's one of the reasons I got into writing, because even though I'm known for all the relationship books, my ultimate thing is writing fiction and stories that are not only entertaining but educational that get into it. Like the fiction I've written, people have come back to me and said, you know, this had me thinking about some things. But those books were feeding people. In fact, both my fiction and nonfiction people, books feed people. Like, when they read my relationship books, like I have mostly books for men, I have a one book for ladies, it's feeding their spirit. It's giving them knowledge and perspective, or even sometimes with many people just confirming what they've seen already, but it's feeding them. When I do these videos, it's feeding your spirit. You know? It's feeding your spirit. When... um. You know, you watch a good play, you get a good entertaining thing. It feeds your spirit. When you actually go to your religious uh, house, whether there's a church, synagogue, temple, circle in the woods, living room, that's feeding your spirit. Like everything is not just a, and it's not just a thing dealing with deity. But it's just whatever information, whatever knowledge that you take in, whatever you see, just seeing some things could feed your spirit. It could feed your spirit. You could be, you know what, you could be walking along out here, taking a walk, even with the stay-at-home orders. Uh, as far as I know, the jurisdictions are allowing you to take a walk in a neighborhood or something as long as you're keeping a distance. People don't. They might have a walking partner, but a general distance from people, right? You know, and I could be out and I might see a couple together smiling, having fun, or a family. That feeds my spirit. 
you know, whatever brings some positive things. See, and, you know, let me get back to that example of the food. Now, a lot of people feed themselves bad food, junk food, food with too much sugar, food that doesn't have any real nutritional value, but it tastes good. All right. But then somebody else might feed themselves with good food, organic, if they're going to eat meat at all, you know, fresh fruits and vegetables and stuff, you know, uh, organic juices. Just like that. Now, what you're doing, that it, you can do that with the physical thing, but the mental thing. Are you feeding yourself stuff? Feed your spirit with stuff that's going to make you feel good. It's going to help you to grow. You know, it's going to it's gonna make you feel good. Like you watch it, it's like, you know, that was a good thing. I feel good after watching that. That's feeding your spirit. And also another way of feeding your spirit is dealing with people who empower you with their words. Because, like, if you're in a situation, say you're in a situation, you're around people who are constantly talking down to you, saying negative things about you, have even a tone or looking at you, uh, speaking with you, interacting with you. And this happens a lot, especially with a lot of young people. They're dealing with some uh, less than ideal parents. You know, they're constantly saying some negative stuff or you're on jobs or some people could. That's killing your spirit, but you still, that's feeding your spirit, but it, it's being fed with junk food. It's not going to do any good for you. Now, contrast that when you're around people who's always praising, parents that are always saying, yeah, you can do this. You're good. And even if they have to give you tough love on something, you know, something you did wrong, it's still tough love. It's still speed, feeding your spirit. You're around people who constantly smiling at you. That's feeding your spirit. And one think about, think about how that is. But whatever the case, you have to feed it. It's very important. Like I would say for entertainment, one um, vision I have, and I ain't going to say it's a dream, it's a vision, and I make my visions come true, is providing and starting some entertainment that's more conscious raising, you know, or, and make that be a regular thing where people's spirit is fed. Like if they, you know, watch, maybe do a movie or something, write a movie, people watch it and they feel like good afterwards. They feel like treating like their neighbors better. Or they feel like getting their life together. But you're feeding the spirit. See, entertainment, entertainment itself feeds the spirit. Man, I'm going to be real with you. If you look at what's on most television, cable, online, everything, does it feed your spirit? And a lot of times, no. Or let's put it like no, everything feeds your spirit. Let me let me let me clarify that. Every single thing feeds your spirit. But are you eating junk food or are you eating organic food? That's the thing you gotta think about. And entertainment, that's the main thing. Like you can empower people with entertainment. You can empower them because if you feed them a certain diet of some positive images and everything, boom. I give an example from back in the day. Two shows, The Cosby Show and the spinoff, A Different World. It was it fed a lot of people to see a more upper middle class family being very being very uh, positive with each other. It fed it fed a lot of people. It fed a lot of people. Now when it first came on, some people, hey, that don't happen. That's not realistic. But they just stuck with it. And I heard a lot of people say, oh, that's not realistic. And these are teachers. And since it was a black show, these were actual liberal teachers. I remember that. But, you know, a lot of black people who saw it, they, they still allowed themselves to be fed. Or then another one, uh, the spinoff, A Different World, it showed a fictional black, historically black college. It was said, it's been said several places that black college enrollment actually increased during that time. It fed something. It fed their spirits to see, you know, these people, young people on screen getting their education, just being them. You know, it's very important. So always feed your spirit some good food. Or if you don't, that bad, that bad spiritual food you eat ain't going to do anything for you. So anyway. That's all I have for today. Think on what I said as always. As always. And then afterwards, go get a good spiritual meal. (laughs) 
watch some, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was actually something from my, what I, uh, some stuff I was drinking, some actually organic uh, green juice. But feed your spirit, okay? Feed it some good food. So anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.